But Terence, I've also just popped a link in the chat to our thought leadership article on unlocking value from data uh, with machine learning. So people can go and have a look at that and read up a little bit more about what we've been talking about this afternoon. So last couple of questions. So Simon, and I know this is a, a topic you can talk quite passionately about, Terence, but uh, he would like to know a little bit more around game theory that you're involved in and then its applications to data science, if any. So for us, um, when we look at game theory, um, we typically look at the behavior of the, the users, right? So when we do our research on a specific type of genre or a specific genre of game, we want to look at what mechanics and what, uh, what feedback loops are working. And in order to do this, we, we have to use a bit of data science. To be honest, there are, you know, thousands, I mean, not thousands, millions of users uh, on a particular game, for example. And um, if, if you ever are interested in, in looking at data science in games, uh, there are a couple of websites. I think SteamDB is one of them. Um, I guess you can go onto the Steam website as well to see concurrent players, uh, what they're doing, what their machines, what, what computers they have. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of interesting information about the users themselves. And that's, I think, one of the key places is when you are creating a game, you need to know how many people are actually going to be able to play your game. And maybe uh, you are in a big studio and you're making a triple A game that is only going to run on a quantum computer. Then, you know, it's not really worth making the game. So definitely you can do research on your users. The game mechanics themselves, is this game going to be selling? Um, you know, why did the previous game in this genre sell? Was it because of the uh was it because of the story was it because of the combat you know what kind of what kind of uh comments can you actually generate from the review sites so we can take all of that uh what is it called uh textual data i mean data doesn't have to be numbers it can be textual as well you can take all of that textual data look for keywords using machine learning and try and figure out the pros and cons of each game um, I think Best Buy in America actually uses that uh, data science, uh, not specific, machine learning <laughs> algorithm to look for pros and cons in their comments section. So when you mm. go onto Best Buy and you look at a laptop or a computer or a fridge or a whatever they're selling uh, or a bicycle, um, you can go to the reviews and it will say pros and cons and it will look for the most commonly found keywords. So mm. we can do that with games as well. Um, mm. So yeah, there's, there's a millions of uh <laughs> millions of applications no I, and i know that th i mean this is your doctorate right and i mean i know that <laughs> you are, are very knowledgeable about gamification and many other topics that i'm also very interested in um from a, a an instructional perspective